Listen to this article. In the midst of increasing concerns on the part of the drivers at the beginning of the season about possible implications of excessive rebound security, the FIA felt that it had no choice but to intervene to avoid the type of severe movements up and down that were common in the initial part of the initial part of the season. The main approach of the FIA was in the introduction of an aerodynamic oscillation metric to limit the amount of margin margin and rebounds that drivers have to endure. However, the scope of that tool was extended to include more difficult measures in flats and flexible planks because the FIA felt that there had to be a leveling playing field between the teams on how they were dealing with the phenomenon. The measures of the governing body, which were established in a reviewed technical direction issued to the teams in the British Grand Prix, will be introduced into the Belgian Grand Prix, initially having been scheduled for the France Grand Prix. While the teams that remain within the AOM metric will be something that everyone must take into account, it is the new repression of the flexi floor that could raise bigger headaches by the pit lane. Flexi's intrigue focused mainly on the way some teams have intelligently exploited grey areas of the rules to obtain more flexibility on the plank that runs under its car. For those who do not know, the table is under the central surface of the body of the floor and governs how low the car can be executed, given its thickness. It should not be used by more than 1 mm, with its verified compliance on the periphery of 650 mm holes placed precisely. The deviation of no more than 1 mm is permissible when the car is supported in the two 1080 mm holes behind the front axle line and 2 mm in the most rear hole while admitting in 70 mm pads on the platform of FIA test. It is believed that some equipment used the way in which the measurements were made with the car supported by pesos to build a degree of movement towards the way the plank was installed in the car. When it was checked with the weight of the car pushing it down, the board accessories were fully compressed and rigid enough to comply with the rules. But on the way, and without almost 800 kilograms pressing down, these materials expanded to allow a few millimeters plus planks of planks, enough for performance profits. F1 equipment can also use titanium skates mounted on mechanized blub, 